How to easily and selectively desaturate colors in Photoshop. Selective color photography has been around for ages. It's something that has been used in the movies like Schindler's List and Sin City. It's a great technique to use when you're trying to draw attention to a certain subject and is something useful to have in your editing techniques. First open an image in Photoshop that you need to apply the effect. Duplicate background layer. Convert layer to smart object. Now open image in camera raw filter. If you are using Lightroom, you can also achieve same effect with this step by step guide. The first step would be, go into the HSL tab, and remove the saturation from all the colors you don't want in your photograph. In my case I wanted to keep yellow and oranges, so all the other sliders have been pulled to the far left. Still there is lot of yellows and oranges appearing on background and person's skin tones. Cleaning up any colors that have appeared after tuning process, can be done easily with the adjustment brush. Take adjustment brush. Simply create a new adjustment brush layer. And turn the saturation to the far left. Paint anywhere you don't want color. If you accidentally paint over something you want to keep, switch to the erase mode and go back over that area until you get it right. Or simply press Ctrl plus Z to undo the step. There is a checkbox at the bottom of the brush panel, labeled Auto Mask. This is one of my favorite feature in Camera Raw and Lightroom. By turning this feature on, it enhances your brush by using color and contrast to detect the edges within your image. As you paint, it searches for similar tones to what the center of your cursor is on, and only applies adjustments to areas that are similar. By using Auto Mask I was easily able to apply saturation adjustments to only the areas I wanted to affect, leaving his clothing alone. Selective color photography is not something suited for every situation. Whether you're a landscape or a portrait photographer. Blue eyes in portraits are a very commonly used theme. Bright dresses and clothing work well too. Another best example is to make jewelry pop, used in ad campaigns, to highlight their products. We can check mask using the show selected mask overlay option. We're done with selective color. Now finally go to the basic settings tab. Increase vibrance. And boost in clarity to increase the mid-tone contrast, which gives a sharpened look. Click OK when you're done to close out of the camera raw filters dialog box. Photoshop goes ahead and applies your settings to the image. As you can see from the before and after, auto mask in camera raw does a reasonable job of masking. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to our channel for more interesting tutorials.
post a comment, click thumbs up, like and share to get more videos. See you again in next video tutorial.